So we're going to write a polynomial in standard form. The degree is in descending order. That is, we have the highest degree to the left, and as we work right, the degree or the exponents have to go down. So I'm just going to take, for instance, this one, the first one right here. And I'm going to write this as 4x to the power of 0 plus x to the power of 1 minus 17x squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reorder them so that we have the highest degree to the left. So there's one term, there's the next term, and my last term here is plus 4. So I've just basically put each of these in a box. Now I'm going to move around the terms. I can do that. So I'm just going to write negative 17x squared. I'm going to write that first simply because my exponent is the highest. The next term that has, or the next highest exponent is this, plus x to the power of 1. My last highest term is my 0 degree term, and that's 4x to the power of 0. So if I was writing this, I would write this as negative 17x squared plus x plus 4. Now one thing I want you to notice, uh, things that I did, is the negatives and positive sign stayed with their respective term. And that's the way we got to do it. I would really encourage you to work with different colors. I'll do a better job on the next example working with different colors. And highlight each term, and then simply consider each term like a block and move it around. So I am going to look at my next example. I'm going to take my first term, and by the way, it's 6x, but it's implied that it's positive 6x. My next term is subtract x squared, and in my mind, I'm going to consider this as negative x squared. My next term is 4. If you want, I'm just going to write very small the degree above each term. There we are. I hope you agree with my degrees. So the first thing I'm going to do is organize this by putting negative x squared first. The next highest exponent is the blue term, 6x. My last highest term, sorry, degree of term, is 4. That's all I do, is I just simply move them around. Over here, I'm going to put them in a box again, or just underline them or highlight them however you want. There, there's the red, blue, and green term. I'm just going to very, very small write the degree on top. So there's my first term is degree two. My blue term is degree 1, and my green term, sorry, my blue term is degree 0, and my green term is degree 1. It's the exponent above the x that we're looking for. So we see the degree 2 term has to appear first. The degree 1, and lastly, the degree 0. Now, please consider moving or using colors just to get your brain motivated and activated in thinking about degree and moving these like a piece of a puzzle together. Be careful that you're keeping your signs, your positive and negative signs, with the appropriate term. Now, I'm so sorry. I just recognized that I made a mistake right here. Why did I add negative in front of that 3? I don't know. The first term was positive 3x, so really it's positive 3x. And let me write this down again. I would write this, I would write this as 3x squared minus 4x plus 7.